2017 was a much better year for the sector as it rebounded from a difficult recessionary phase, registering an improved annual growth of 2.7%, as you can see. And the performance in 2017 highlights the sector's resilience despite high volatility and low levels of production in the preceding years. Despite the improvement in growth in 2017 in the sector, factors weighing on potential growth over the past decade are likely to persist over the next five years. Although investment growth is expected to recover from its recent weakness, it is unlikely to return to elevated pre-crisis levels if the volatility in production persists. Our focus is for the entire M&E sector to expand modestly by 1.1% in 2018, 2019. The various subsectors will register varied levels of growth, with some expanding and others contracting in 2018. The forecasted results align greatly with, that, with the outlook for an improving but mild domestic growth. These forecasts will be tracked during the year. We had several variables that contributed to us forecasting 1.1% growth. We looked at the global growth, uh, growth scenario and we're happy with it. It's positive, it contributes positively. The Sub-Saharan Africa and SADC growth also contributes positively. The SAGDP growth contributes positively. And also the gross fixed capital formation also contributes positively. Trade conditions, if you look at the World Trade Index, it's actually been improving. So the trade conditions to also contribute positively, although, like we highlighted, that there's been uh, the segment has been disproportionately affected by trade restrictions in advanced economies. And commodity prices and exchange rate, we perceive that these are also going to contribute uh, positively to our forecast. The exchange rate movement will impact on the extent to which businesses in the sector benefit from improving international commodity prices. So the expectation is for the exchange rate movement to contribute favorably to business activity. Mining sector, uh, we felt that the contribution is going to be negative because the value of mining has been decreasing over the years. And our, our belief is that we just have to review, look, wait for our quarter one review to see how things go because it's positive expectation um, politically. So we're just expecting to see how things go. And um, the automotive sector, we expect that to contribute positively. And the construction sector, we also expect a positive contribution from the construction sector.